today I'm going to show you how to test out a basic thermostat as this is one of the most misdiagnosed pieces of equipment in the apartment maintenance world when it comes related to the HVAC category. Here's our low voltage wiring diagram that I am working on today. Your wire color might be different and your diagram probably is different along with the thermostat. Just a heads up. You're going to need a decent multimeter that can take temperature, amps, and voltage readings. This is the one I recommend for most HVAC repairs. I'm going to compare the temperature on my meter to the temperature on the thermostat and as we can see it's pretty close. I'm going to remove my temperature clamp or my temperature wire and hook up my meter leads. And we're going to set our meter to volts. And throughout this tutorial, I'm going to be using 18 solid strand wire to help with troubleshooting. First, I'm going to cut a little piece, just like that. And then I'm going to make a couple of jumpers. We've got our blower door switch right here. This is actually killing power to the unit. So that's what I got this for. I'm just gonna push this in and I'm gonna stick the piece of metal right in there. Not too far though, or you can shock yourself. Just enough to keep that switch in the closed position. And you can also use this magnetic blower door switch if you don't feel comfortable sticking a bare wire right in there where you could get potentially shocked. Just pushes up against it and keeps that blower door switch shut or in the closed position. We're gonna remove the thermostat from the wall. I've already loosened the screw that holds it in by pulling out from the bottom and lifting up. This thermostat has a yellow wire, which is for the compressor. Red is our main power coming in. This is our common. Common's not always hooked up, but it is in this case. Never touch common to red. If you touch common to red, you're gonna short out the transformer or the fuse. We've got W, which is the white wire, and we've got green. Green is for fan in this case. White is for heat or the Taco pump. First thing I wanna do is make sure that our transformer is good. And the first place I'm gonna test is from common to red. We've got 28 volts, which proves that we are getting power to the thermostat and our transformer is good. If you don't have the common wire, you can still check for power, 24 volts, by doing the red wire to any of these wires. I like to go to the green and you can see now this is acting like a ground or common and we've got 28 volts because there is an open connection between red and green. 28 volts to white. And this is just telling me that we have power coming from this red wire that is starting from the transformer. Next, I'm gonna make sure that the cooling is working from the wires. And to do that, now keep in mind, this is low voltage, but it is live. I'm gonna stick one into the red, just like that. Then I'm gonna stick one into the yellow, just like that. Now when these two wires touch together, it's going to kick on the condensing fan and the compressor only. And I can hear the refrigerant flowing through the TXV and our suction line is getting ice cold. So our wires up to the condenser are good. I want to make sure that our fan is good. So I'm going to do this. Stick another jumper into the G or the fan. Hook one onto the fan. And then while our condenser is running, we are gonna turn on the fan by jumping this out. And this can go to either Y or R, it doesn't matter. go ahead and remove power from the fan and I'm going to remove the power 
from the condenser. Next thing I'm gonna jump out and test is gonna be the heat, which is W. This is gonna energize our Taco pump when we connect red to white. Remove our jumpers. And you don't necessarily need these alligator clips. You can jump it by making a U and going into the holes. There's many ways to do this. You could use these mag jumpers, which are magnetic and stick to the terminals sometimes. But if you're able to pass all those tests by bypassing the thermostat, then it's still, and if it's still not working, it might be that you need to replace the thermostat, but there's other things that you need to check. Um, this one doesn't have a jumper and it's not programmable, but you wanna make sure you have the right spade connected on this one. Since it's a aquatherm, it doesn't matter if it's set for heat or gas doesn't matter if it's set for electric heat or gas or B or O, that's for a reversing valve. But if you have like the newer Honeywell Digital, you wanna make sure that it's programmed for what type of system that you're using. One last tip, if you have the common wire hooked up to the thermostat, I would not use batteries unless you're very good at changing them and it's, there's really no need for it. What happens is the batteries will go bad they'll create acid and actually can short out the board inside the thermostat itself. That's gonna do it for today's episode. Let me know if you liked this video or hated it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dave. See you on the next one.